Welcome to Bunya Toy Town. G'day mates, welcome to Bunya Toy Town. Today we're going to have a look at part one of the March 2022 issue of the Blue Magazine. This issue is an extra special double sided issue. Ooh! Oh, sick! Check it out! One side it's all about Bluey, the other side it's all about Bingo! But today we're going to check out the Bluey side. This magazine is packed with sweet stickers. There's stacks of fun stuff to do, like drop Bluey off at school. You can make your own Bluey. You could read a dreamy story. You can color, play some games and much more. Before we get into it, remember to please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to watch our other Bluey magazine videos. Come on, let's check it out. First page, it's Bluey. How you going? This side of your magazine is all about Bluey. Read a fruit baddie story, colour in a keepy yappy balloon pic, and drop off Bluey at school. Then flip the magazine over to hang out with Bingo. But first, make your very own Bluey. Before we do that, did you know Bluey is a six year old blue healer? She wants to be a fruit bat. Fun fact, she has three spots on her back. Her doona has bone picks on it, and her bed has a big B. Check out the things Bluey might say. She'll say, Dude, let's do this. How very dare you. For real life. And again. Alright, come on. Let's get crafting. So you'll need a cereal box. A smaller container or a small box. Blue paints. Craft glue. Sticky tape. Scissors. And a grown up to help. These are the instructions. First, grab your cereal box, paint the bottom half of the cereal box blue. Let the paint dry, then you might have to go over it a few times just to get a good layer of paint. Then the top half a darker blue. I paint a smaller box yellow to make Bluey snout. And just like Bluey's body, you might have to give it a few layers of paint. Also, don't forget to paint around the sides of the box. You want a 3D looking Bluey. When the paint is dry, grab the snout and stick it to Bluey's body. Don't forget to add a light blue belly. And also her spots, mate. You can't forget those. I'll just add a bit more yellow just around the snout. Add a bit more layers and touch-ups. You can use black paint, but I'm going to use a texture. Then, draw on Bluey's smile. Oh, what a nice smile, mate! Next, cut out and stick on Bluey's eyes, arms and legs. Cut out her ears and the ice cream. I like to stick it on some cardboard so it's not flimsy. Stick on her nose and the yellow snout. Then stick on her eyes. Oh, nice peepers you got there, mate. Then you can stick on her ears and her eyebrows. Her arms are next. Don't forget those little legs. Check out our cereal box Bluey. What do you reckon? I think that's top notch mate. Oh, another thing. Don't forget our ice cream. Next page. Oh yeah, it's story time. Fruit bat. Ever wanted something so much you dream about it? Upstairs for bedtime, mum says one night. No, Bluey cries and runs out into the garden. Say goodnight to the animals, dad says. Night fruit bats, bluey waves. Fruit bats don't sleep at night. They're nocturnal, Bingo tells her. Do you mean fruit bats don't need to go to bed now? Bluey gasps. No, but you do, Dad laughs. Not fair. I want to stay up like the fruit bats, Bluey says. Well, when the fruit bats go to the toilet, they do it hanging upside down so the weed just runs all over them, Dad jokes. I'd love that, Bluey gasps. She hops into bed. Not fair. I'm not tired, she says. Just try, okay? Night, Bluey. Mum turns out the light. I can't fall asleep, Bluey says, and sneaks downstairs. Mum's tidying up and Dad's snoozing on the floor and kicking his legs about too. What's Dad doing? Bluey wonders. I'd say he's dreaming about playing touch football with his mates, Mum replies. He doesn't get to play that much anymore, so he keeps having dreams about it. Why doesn't he get to play for real life? Bluey asks. He's busy, sweetheart, working and looking after you and Bingo, Mum replies. Maybe I can dream about being a fruit bat, Bluey says. 
You can give it a go. Mum smiles. Bluey races back to bed. Come on, dream about being a fruit bat, she tells herself. But it doesn't work. Humph. Bluey looks frustrated. Next page. It didn't work, Bluey tells Mum, who is tidying up a huge toy. Where's Dad? Bluey asks. He's outside, Mum tells her. Bluey says, huh? She's probably wondering why is there a huge toy in her house? But Bluey can't find him outside, so she flaps her arms and suddenly she's flying. It did work. She is dreaming about being a fruit bat. She hangs upside down with them and eats fruit. And more fruit. And even more fruit. Bluey hears Dad cheering somewhere and flies down. He's playing with his mates and scores a try. Hey Dad, she waves. Hey Bluey, he grins. You're a fruit bat. How is it? It's great, Bluey replies. You get to eat a lot of fruit. Bluey flies up past the moon, then back into her own bed. The next morning, Bluey tells her family, I had the most amazing dream. Then she remembers the bit about dad and he gives him a big hug. Thanks for looking after us, she tells him. I've got your favorite breakfast. Fruit salad, mum says, but Bluey sticks out her tongue. Yuck, no more fruit, she replies. Just some toast, please. The end. Oh, what an awesome story. Wouldn't it be awesome to be a fruit bat? What do you reckon? Next page. Bluey loves. Hey squids, fill Bluey's scrapbook with the special things and draw your own too. Find your sticker sheet C. This is a sticker page. Bluey's special toy is. What do you reckon? It's Polly Puppy. Of course it is. Now draw your bestest toy. My bestest toy is an RC car. It even had flames and everything. Bluey loves playing. Yeah, that's right. It's hospital. What's your favorite game? What do you think mine is? Yep, it's snakes and ladders. Bluey loves eating ice cream. Oh, that's a good one. My favorite dessert. What do you love eating? I love eating burgers. Oh yeah, give me that Hungry Jack's Whopper, mate. One of Bluey's friends is Chloe. Oh, they love playing the game Octopus. Who's your best friend? Is it Talamachus? Bert Handsome? My best friend is Jono. Oi Jono, you want to buy some pizza later, mate? Maybe some barbecue meat lovers? Oi Squids, did you know the new Bluey garbage truck is out? It comes with two bins and includes Bluey and Bin Man. Don't forget to watch our unboxing of this sick toy. Oh yeah, Bin Man, cleaning up the community. Next page, hide and seek. Bluey's looking for her cheeky little Chattermax. Snip out the squares opposite, then stick them over Chattermax in each scene with your tab stickies to make a lift the flaps picture. Now you see Chattermax, now you don't. See, it's got to look like this. Make sure you use sticker sheet B. Cut out these pickies and use your little tab stickers to make hide and seek flaps. That sticker looks like sticky tape. Let's hide these Chattermaxes and play a little game of hide and seek. Hey Bingo, have you seen Chattermax? Let's see where she is. Oh, she's hiding behind the juice. Hey mum, can you find Chattermax? Oh, Chili can't see him, but she can hear him. Wonder where Chattermax is. Oh, there he is. He's hiding behind the bed sheets. Oi, Bluey, where's Chattermax? Let's look here. Oh, he's hiding in the washer. How'd you get in there, Bluey says. Or maybe Chattermax was stinky and needed a wash. Last one. I'll find Chattermax eventually, says Bluey. Where could she be? Oh, she's hiding in the bathtub. Cheeky little Chattermax. Oh, that's a good game of hide and seek. You should get your mates to find Chattermax too. Next page. Drop off. Yes, it's the start of a brand new day at Bluey's school. Grab your stickers and see who's just arrived. Use sticker sheet A. Who's here? There's a red car. I wonder who's at school? Oh, it's Coco. She's fashionably early. Oh, nice one, Coco. 
But who drove you to school? You're not allowed to drive. Oh, it's your mum, Bella. Oh, that's what good mums do. Who else is at school? Oh, it's Chloe's dad, Frank. But wait a minute. Are you going to school? But you're an adult. Where's Chloe? Oh, there you are, Chloe. Oh, I thought your dad was the one going to school. Who else is at school? Oh, it's Calypso and Winton. You can't have the school without a teacher. Did you know Bluey's school teacher is Calypso? She's kind and great at knitting. Mackenzie's here today, playing some barky birds. Oi, Sergeant Rusty. How you going, mate? Ready for a brand new day? A Rusty? Who are you saluting to? Of course, it's Private Jack. Oh, you're good at playing army. Hey, Jack. Ease up on that condensed milk, mate. Next, Honey turns up. Oh, you're a keen student. Indy's here today? Oh, looks like you got something to ask Calypso. Or maybe you're gonna help us set up the classroom. Oh, good on you, mate. Next, we got Snickers. Hey, did you roll out of the bushes? Why do you have a chicken next to you? That's a bit strange. Lucky turned up? Of course, he brought his footy along. Next, we got Pretzel and a Terrier. Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, are you sitting by the fence? Come on, mates, hurry up, you gotta get to school. Who else are we missing? Oh, what about Bluey? Oh, that's a nice one. Giving Bandit a hug before you go to school. Oh, that's a great father-daughter moment right there. Oh, how lovely. Oh, that's it. Looks like all the little squirts are at school. Have a good day, kiddos. Next page. Oh, sick. We got a blue and bingo poster. Oh, I'll definitely hang this up on my wall. You can switch it around. If you're in the mood for Bluey, Bluey can be face up. But if you're in the mood for Bingo, then Bingo can be face up. Otherwise, just cut it in the middle and you got two posters. Thank you for watching part one of the March 2022 issue of the Bluey magazine. Don't forget to check out part two. Remember to please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. For mom, big Josh, click to subscribe.